I will, I choose to, I make a choice, I make up my mind, I'm determined to do it. No matter what's going on, who said what, who did what, I will. How many of you have declared that you will bless the Lord? Amen. May not have much money in the bank, but I will bless the Lord. My body might be racking with pain, but I will bless the Lord. I might have got a pink slip and not a paycheck, but I will bless the Lord. I might have lost the baby in the first trimester, but I will bless the Lord. I might not have much food on the table, but I will bless the Lord. My loved one might be terminally ill, but I will bless the Lord. Things might not be going in my life like I want them to, but I will bless the Lord at all times. Whether things are good, whether things are bad, whether it's up, whether it's
out to those who lost loved ones in El Paso. There is also shooting in Dayton. And our hearts go out and we grieve with them and we mourn for them. We, some of us can't even imagine I'm just running to Walmart. I'm going to be right back. And your life is forever changed. But yet, we're grateful that we are all right, right? It's kind of that mixed emotion thing. Because but for God's grace, it could have been you, or it could have been you, or it could have been you, or it could have been your child, or your child. But the King of glory, his presence surrounds us. His angels encamp round about us. And that's something to give God praise and glory and honor for, is it not? Hallelujah. And we invite that presence of God to saturate us. He inhabits the praises of his people. Do you have a praise for God today? Do you owe him a praise for something he's done for you and yours? Hallelujah, we bless the Lord. Yes, the world. Bow down and say you are God. Every man will bow down and say you are King. So
wanna be with you. Just wanna be with Say you. it one more time. King of glory. King of glory. Have your way. Move in the place, Jesus. Jesus. Move Jesus. in the place, Jesus. Just wanna be with you. Just wanna be with you. stay right there the word of God tells us that God is enthroned that God lives that God dwells in the praises of his people and so when we sing a song like king of glory fill this place guess how he fills this place he fills this place through the praises of his people he fills this place through us opening our mouths and glorifying him or praising him or magnifying him in this place so while we sing that song let me hear you ask the lord to fill this place and come on open your mouth and give him praise if you want him to fill this place let me hear you open your mouth king of glory fill this place yes now if you're unfamiliar with how to do that it's very interesting that you mentioned that text that says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I told Cheryl about that yesterday because Friday night I preached a whole sermon laying in bed on I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. And in that time I laid there, I went from I will bless the Lord at all times to blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners nor sits in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in it does he meditate day and night and it came to my mind that often we want God to bless us first we don't have a good meaning of what it means for God to bless us but we often want God to bless us but when it comes to blessing God how do we do that and what does it mean? When I bless God, it's, it's equivalent to praising God. It's bringing attention to God. It's spotlighting and highlighting the goodness of the Lord. And not only that, but it's magnifying God. It's magnifying him. It's making him bigger than all of your troubles, all of your problems, all your situations, all of your dilemmas, all of your circumstances. So whatever you're going through, whatever you've been praying for, just, just picture God with this world, with this earth in his hands, encapsulated in a glass globe. And just picture God standing there looking at it. It gives me a visual that the world and me in it and my situation is so small but God is holding the world and he's holding me and he's holding my situation in his hands can you imagine this the world and I'm God that's the glory of God that's the blessing that we give to God. That God, you're bigger than anything I can go through. You're bigger than anything I can face. So therefore, what I go through, what I face, what my prayers are, are nothing in your sight. You are able to do exceedingly, another picture of, of the magnification, exceedingly, abundantly, above all that I can ask, think, or even imagine. Can you see how the Bible uses those words to magnify God above all that we can go through? So let's sing that one more time. It's King of glory, everybody. King of glory. Feel this place. Lord, because I need to be with you. When I'm with you, Lord, everything is right. Just want to be with you. Sing it again. King of glory. Feel this place. Come on. King of glory. Glory, fill this place. Just want to be with you. Oh, just want to be with you. 
All right, come on, let's let the glory of God fill this place. Come on, through you, through you, through you, through you, through you. Come on, through you. Let the glory of God fill this place through you, not just with your hands, with your mouth. How do I magnify God? Thank you. How do I magnify him? God, I praise you. How do I bless him? God, I love you. How do I praise him? God, I appreciate you. God, I don't know where I'd be without you. God, I would be nothing without you. I would be crazy without you. God, thank you for keeping me. Thank you for keeping me. Thank you for keeping my mind. When I wanted to lose my mind, thank you. When I had nowhere to go, thank you. When I had no one to go to, thank you for being there. God, you're great and you're greatly to be praised. So God, I commit myself that I will praise you with my whole heart, with all that's within me. Come on, let the glory of God fill this place through your mouth, through your praise, through your blessings. Bless him, bless him, glorify him, praise him, magnify him. Magnify him. Now, one key to that, one key to that, and this is my prayer time. I'm doing prayer, so I ain't going to hold you long in prayer. One key to that, he says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. He says, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. He says, oh magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me you know what God taught me God said he's been so redundant he is so interested in not just your praise not just your acts as a Christian but he wants your whole life because he says bless the Lord oh my soul and to me he repeats it he says and all that is within me which is what your soul everything you are God created man and then he says he blew into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul your whole life is your soul oh my soul this it gives it a picture that i long to bless the lord oh my soul god our father we thank you because we long to bless you you are god that's worthy of our glory our honor and our praise we thank you because you've allowed us to come before your altar, come before this throne with every care and concern. And we realize that when we bring it before you, that you are more than enough. That when I leave, I am not just a conqueror, but I am more than a conqueror. Everything I expect to be, everything I expect you to do is so much more when I'm in your presence. And when I leave your presence, you're still with me. Because where can I go that you are not? <laughs> so God, we thank you. We thank you, God, for those that are grieving this morning. For going into a shopping mart, into a mall. God, we ask that you would comfort the hearts of those that are grieving. In El Paso and in Dayton. God, shooting is becoming so commonplace that we are desensitized to it. But God, we feel the pain. Yes, Lord. Because in some way, shape, form, or fashion, that pain has crossed our doorway. And so we cannot dismiss it. Your word says, as God has comforted you, comfort one another. And so God, I stand with one that is not without comforting from you. I thank you, Lord, for easing the pain. And I thank you for turning that pain into smiles and into laughter. There are those here in the fellowship, Lord Jesus. Turn that pain into smiles and to laughter. Help us to be thankful for what you've given us, if just for a time. Thank you for the ability to remember. And to yet love and caress even the memories. So God, 
We thank you and we love you. King of glory, will you fill this place? King of glory, fill your people. King of glory, fill this sanctuary. It's in the name of Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God, we pray. All of God's people say, thank God. Amen. Amen. Come on, open your mouth one more time and give him glory. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, give him glory. Come on, don't let it fizzle, don't let it phase out. Come on, 